We are here for the teepee unveiling. It is really just about seeing how the ancestors would make our teepees versus how we make them today and how rare it is to actually see one that is made out of actual buffalo skin. Most of the kids that we work with, whether they're native or non-native, the biggest thing that they always uh, think of when they think of Native Americans is they think of teepee. They think of a hunting buffalo. They think of all of that stuff. So that's some of the questions that we always get, you know, what the teepee is made out of, okay? When we tell them, well, back then it, they were made out of buffalo hide. Well, how many buffalo did it take? What is the buffalo hide, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Does it have a different smell? Does it have a different look? Everybody that's here can be able to find those questions out on their own. But the biggest thing is, no, there's no offensive smell to it. Actually, it smells very good. I used to teach at Curtis Middle School and as part of the uh, curriculum, I taught U.S. history, and it was always uh, kind of a challenge to teach about Native American history, so I kind of came up with my own resources to teach Native American history. And I always thought it would be great to see something like an artifact, like a teepee that we could purchase and educate our young people uh, to really show uh, the, uh, just the dwelling place of Native Americans. And of course, this is just one of many that Native Americans throughout the Americas uh, dwelled in. Here in the Wichita community, we have over 90 tribes represented. Whenever you come into an intertribal environment in an urban setting, is holding that respect to each tribe. It's because, you know, some tribes, you know, don't live in teepees, some of them live in grass houses. And, and, you know, it goes on. I mean, you know, it's all part of that education that, you know, not only for our youth, but our community to understand. Really what I wanted to come down for is I've never seen a buffalo hide teepee. And <laughs> together, you know, we can all see that together. You know, we've never seen one. And it's an experience that we can share. Our program does have a canvas teepee, which is when most people see teepees put up, that's what they are as the canvas ones. But we thought, I wonder, can we even find a buffalo hide teepee, whether it's already made or maybe there's somebody that can make it. So in order for us to do that, we had to go looking. Six years later, I was referred to a gentleman that still made them. The gentleman that did make this teepee for us, he not only made our teepee, but he is the gentleman, uh, those of you guys that have maybe seen any movies that have uh, Native Americans in them, whether it's uh, Dancing with Wolves, uh, Far and Away, Geronimo, Crazy Horse, Return to Lonesome Dove, and many, many more. This is the same gentleman that makes the teepees for those uh, major motion pictures and uh, TV series. And also, he's actually a gentleman that is, he usually has not necessarily speaking parts, but bit parts in it, but he's also a consultant on those sets uh, to ensure accuracy. So we found out how it's made. For centuries, our ancestors, whenever they made these teepees, they were obviously made of buffalo hide. Our hide is made up of 15 uh, buffalo. And he made it, our teepee, exactly the same way as they were made back then. He made it with, he also used the actual buffalo hide sinew. So if you guys, when you get out there, you guys can see the sinew. And a lot of them, sometimes there'll be pieces of it kind of hanging down. If Please don't try to cut it off or tear it off. That's, that's the way they're meant to do it. They also, were made to be pliable. They were also made to be weather resistant. And the way they did that was through brain tanning. Tanning is the process to be able to make the leather more pliable, more water resistant, things like that. But back then they used the brains for that. And he's the only gentleman, there's only two people that I found in the country that actually make buffalo hide teepees. I found out he's the only one that does brain tanning. So ours is actually, and this is what the ex very, very exciting part of it is, it's actually made the exact same way that our ancestors made them.